Hello everybody. Today I'm going to present the problem B from the code for Cisron 742, max or mix up. A problem where we need to combine the properties of two uh, really uh, common operations in competitive programming problems, which are max and XOR. And here we are given the definitions of those two operations. And we have two integers and we need to find the shortest array with uh, max a and xor b and according to the constraints this uh, always exists and uh, after reading the statement uh, and after seeing the definition of the max we can figure out that we have in this array we must have in this array all of the numbers between 0 and a minus 1 because if the max of an array is a, it means that we have all of the non-negative integers less than a, but we don't have a, so a is missing. And what we can do is that uh, we can find the XOR for all of the numbers between 1 and a minus 1. And here is a problem, because we have 50,000 test cases, but the number A can go up to 300,000. So we need to find a way to compute this, this XOR between the first A minus one numbers. And there are two ways of doing it. The first way is way more complicated and it involves working with all of the bits from the numbers and seeing how many of them, how many of each of them are and counting only the bits with an odd uh, count or since a is not too big we can just use prefix xor between the numbers from 0 to 300,000 and we can just take that value of prefix xor and now that we found this xor between the numbers from 0 and a minus 1 we need to figure out what happens when uh, we have that XOR when we need to get the XOR equal to B. If the prefix XOR is equal to B, we can just uh, print that the answer is equal to A because we already added the numbers from 0 to A minus 1 and those are A numbers. If the prefix XOR is not B but we don't have uh, in the array or among the missing ones uh, the number which is equal to uh, our prefix XOR, XOR B, then we can just print A plus 1 because we can always use that number as long as it's not uh, A itself in order to get our XOR to be B. And if that uh, answer is actually A, we can just use two numbers in order to get our XOR to be B because we can use numbers infinitely big and uh, we can always find two numbers such that the prefix XOR that the XOR is equal to the number we need it to be and this is what I did in the source code I computed the prefix XOR for the numbers from 1 to 300,000 and here once again we have three cases just like we had in the problem A and uh, here are all of the cases I just described if the prefix XOR is B, we print A. If the number we need to get in order to have the prefix the XOR equal to B is not A, it's just A plus 1. Otherwise, it's A plus 2. And again, this is a problem where you need to approach it uh, more from the XOR perspective, since we know that we need to have all of the numbers from 0 to A minus 1. And then it's only about finding those three cases. Cases which are uh, quite common when it comes to such problems like the shortest array with a certain bit of property which is related to bitwise operations. And there were problems based on that before as well, but this problem was an interesting, brought a new interesting concept where we combine those two operations. I hope you enjoyed this video, if you like the video please like the video, subscribe to the channel and also share any feedback you might have in the comments. 
see you with the next problem.